Like, click, subscribe, do all that. You can see 31, 34. What the hell were the Gophers doing? They were at their own 30. They went for the fourth and one. They didn't get it. They're up by three, even though they got two timeouts left. Bottom line is, why would you do this? Why would you let the Boilermakers back into this game? And they missed right there, 39. It's plays like that where you got the Gophers out here golfing. That's why they sit there one and three. Plumber for Purdue. This guy right here running around trying to figure out stuff, whatever he's doing. Bottom line is he is 32 or 37, 339 yards and three TDs tonight. But he's going to need a little bit more. And they're going to kick a field goal to probably tie it up and see what happens right here. Morgan on the other side, Minnesota, 14 to 21, 265 yards. And that's pretty much it from him. But let's see if they get the field goal. He's going to kick it up. And that's no good. How do you do this? They did not convert on a 30-yard field goal. What the hell? Hey, you got Florida Atlanta. Atlanta smacked out on UMass. Looking like trash because UMass is trash. 21-2, start of the fourth. J.D. Terger, how the hell you miss a 33-yard field goal? How do you do this? And just for randomness, you got Air Force taking on bum-ass New Mexico. And that's still at halftime. But yeah, that's pretty much what that is. But never mind all that. Back to this mayhem. Like I said, 31 to 34. Purdue 2 and 1. Minnesota 1 and 3. Minnesota's trying to hang on. Purdue's trying to do something. Look at this. This was almost a pick right here. But then when he comes down, flips up the ball, it gets him in his hands. That is crazy, yo. And it makes a completion for Purdue. That's pretty amazing right there as he's stripping the ball still loose as he's coming down and then gets it in his hands. That is insane. That's pretty awesome. I ain't gonna front. Obviously, this is gonna be under review. Incomplete pass, huh? Wow. Okay. At least it wasn't a pick though, so it's an incomplete pass. So there you have it. Purdue still has ball. Milton right with the catch. That's going to make it first down. They thought he had a TD right there. They said 87 was pass interference on the offense. They didn't show anything to look like it would be pass interference. That is crazy. And he throws a dangerous throw and gets picked off. Minnesota is going to take this one. But that's crazy because Purdue, they had the TD right there. And they called a blatant offensive pass interference call or 87 where there was no pass interference there whatsoever. Highly controversial. This is ridiculous. And that was the first turnover in the game. Well, the pick right there. But that's 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 ridiculous. That is insane. Let's see the pick. Wow. Right in the hands. That is crazy. Yo. And he should be hot still at the other call back when they had the offensive pass at first call. Because there was no offensive pass at first. That is shit is ridiculous. And Minnesota's going to take this game off of a controversial so-called push-off when 87 had the TD and they took it back on offensive of pass interference. They didn't even, they didn't even, make, he didn't even make contact with him. That's bullshit. But bottom line is, it's going to be what it is. And Minnesota's going to go two or three. Purdue will fall to two or two. This, this that's insane. That they, they're going to be talking about that on ESPN all week long. This, especially in the Big Ten Network, they're going to talk about that crap all week long.